Hello, everyone. Today we will start another interesting topic which is, the start-stop rung. Last time we created a latch in our logic but there was still a problem. After latching we were unable to turn it off or unlatch it. But the question is how to create such logic? And to do so we will use logic gates. Let's first look at the truth table of OR gate. So here we have two inputs and one output. Here 0 means low and 1 means high. The table clearly shows that if at least one input is high the output will be high. So now let's try to create this logic using ladder logic. I have created a new program in WinSPS. We need two inputs and one output so let's try to create this using a normally open push button. We will add the two contacts in parallel and add an output to the network. Now for simulation, we will be using the PLC mask. So we will give the address according to the address shown. Now let's simulate it. When there is no change in input the output stays off. When I close input A the output turns on. When I close input B the output turns on. And when I close input A and B the output again turns on. Now let's create the same logic using normally closed contacts. Let's add a new network. This time we will add the two contacts in series with an inversion instruction. Not to mention we will need an output for this network. Now let's simulate it. When there is no change in input the output stays off. When I close input A the output turns on. When I close input B the output turns on. And when I close input A and B both the output again turns on. Similarly, we can create logic for AND gate using normally open and normally closed contact. So we add both contacts in series and add an output. Give the address according to the address shown. and simulate it. When there is no change in input the output stays off. When I close input A the output stays off. When I close input B the output stays off. And when I close input A and B both the output turns on. And in a similar way, we can create NAND, NOR, XOR, XNOR logic. I have created all the logic for you if you need help the link to the program is in the description. So in order to make a latch we use the OR logic and in order to unlatch it, we will be using AND logic. First, we will create the same latch from the last video. Now we know that to turn it off we need a way to break the connection. For this, we will add another push button to our existing logic. We will take both a normally open push button and a normally closed push button. In factory IO, I have added another push button. And for the connection, this is how I have done it. Let's take case 1 when we need to use the normally open push button to turn off the output. 
We have two contacts in parallel and one contact in series. Normally close contact will be used for breaking the connection. And now let's test it. Adding another run, to turn on the reset button light. When we press it we can see that the normally open contact gets closed, but in the above rung, we have used a normally closed, contact that opens, and the connection breaks so the output turns off. Now let's try creating the same using the stop push button. This time we need to change the contact form from normally closed to normally open contact. So let's modify it and test it. We can see that now we can turn the output on and off. So we have the basic knowledge to create a start and stop operation. With this, we have cleared our two basics. 1. Turning on output using input. 2. Turn off an output using another input. Moving forward we can combine the two networks we have created. I will also add another rung to turn on the stop push button light when we press it. All we need to do is add both contacts in series with our start contact. So, if we press the stop push button or reset push button the output turns off. The factory IO scene and the win SBS code is given in the description. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.